John Muller with the JP Muller Group. Today we're going to talk about another common uh, set of things that you may need all or part of these uh, functions for. Um, the situation I've seen in the past is where we have a list of, let's say, transactional data that's somewhere and we put it in a spreadsheet and we need to convert one of the fields that happens to be um, contain multiple items into something new. So in this case, we have transactions and we have a product ID field that may have one or more IDs that we're changing because maybe we're implementing a new product information system. So here's our sample transactional data, let's say, and in that we have a column with IDs or product IDs. Sometimes there's one, sometimes there's two, maybe there's three. What you'll also see here is sometimes we could have you know, not, not clean data, right? We have spaces in there. So I need to deal with spaces too. And I want to map this all or convert it all to the new IDs. So I'll make a column here where I'm going to keep the, put the new uh, converted data. But in the meantime, the first thing we need is a mapping. So on this tab, we have this map of the old IDs to the new IDs. So we need a formula that splits apart this information, figures out the new IDs, brings them back together, and puts them back in a concatenated form that's bar delimited like the original data, right? So let's talk about how we build that formula step by step. Let me go to a remap data, and we're going to um, have some data. Let's put in ABC1. Let's see, what was the data? Let's look up one of these. Let's grab this. We'll put it here actually. And let's put some more spacing in here so it looks obvious. Oops, not in the middle of the ID. Right, okay. All right, so we have to deal with spaces in the end, in the beginning, etc. Okay, so this is gonna be my sample data that I use. And what I'm gonna first do is split the data apart, trim out the spaces, look up the new IDs. We'll talk about array formula in a second, and then join it back together. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is split it apart. We're going to use a split function. Split, and we're going to split C1. That's where my data is here. And, oh, sorry, we need to put the delimiter in here, comma, the delimiter, which is a bar. So we tell it it's being separated currently by a bar. Now notice what it does. It split them all into individual cells going across. And you'll note that there's various spacing because we had spaces in the original data. So we need to deal with that first. So let's do, wrap that in a trim statement. But before that, I wanna show you so you could see the formulas as we go. So I'll show you a formula called formula text. And I'm gonna put it here in this column. And I'm gonna tell it to look at C and show me the formula for every line. And right now we don't have lines in the other, so it'll come up as NA. And as we enter formulas in column C, you'll see the formulas show up here. All right. So the next one we're going to do is we're going to trim it. So we're going to now take, actually we're going to cut and paste. We'll take this formula. We're going to put it down here. And we're going to wrap that in a trim function close parentheses at the end. Now note what it did. What happened to ABC2 and th ABC3? Well, it doesn't appear there because the trim formula only works on one cell at a time, not a range of cells. And what the split formula is doing is giving you a range or an array back. So we're going to have to apply an array formula around this to make it them all appear. But the VLOOKUP function also doesn't work on more than one cell. So we need to do that too. So we're gonna wrap them both in array formulas after we're done. So let's first get the VLOOKUP working and then we'll make all the results appear back. So let's take now this formula. <coughs> let's wrap it in a VLOOKUP. And in a VLOOKUP, after we tell it where we're gonna look, what, what key we're gonna look up, which is ABC1 or the, the, the array, we're going to tell it to look in a range. And that data, that mapping was in ID map in that tab, exclamation point, and it was in columns A, colon B, right? And it was, colon, it was column B, 
which is the second column that we want to return back. So we put comma two and we co put comma zero because the data is not necessarily sorted in that. All right, we hit enter. And notice it properly gives me back the word one, which is the new ID. And you can see the formula to the left here. Okay, so now we need to get all that data back. We need to see ABC1, ABC2, ABC3 converted to one, two, three, right? So we're going to take this whole formula here and we're going to go down here and wrap it in an array formula, which tells it to handle everything as if it's an array. So give back all of those three original product IDs. So notice we have now one, two, three. I'm going to widen this column a little bit so we could see everything. All right. The last thing we need to do is bring them back or concatenate them back or join them back using a bar. So we'll take this formula now and paste it down here and wrap it in a join. Now the first thing that you have to put in a join is the delimiter. So first within quotes, we're going to put that bar, put comma, and then we're going to join back all that data we had from the previous function. And now you can see that we have the converted data. So now that we've thought through and built our function, I'm going to take that whole function and I'm going to copy it and I'm going to put it up here in the first line. And the thing I have to edit is which cell it's using. And it's using A2 here, right? The cell to the left. Okay. I'm going to put that in and ABC returns back one. And I'm going to copy it down. And you're going to notice it converts or properly converts all this data and gets rid of the spaces as well. I hope you enjoyed this video and hit me up if you have any questions. Thanks.